Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Lockdown Dave's Allotment. I see you in a bit, I'm going to put the kettle on, Reet. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you up to this Hello, afternoon? Hello, welcome to Dave's Allotment. And it's a nice day to crack on. To get the kettle on. But I would recommend you look at his YouTube channel because he's genius. Dave's Allotment. Yeah. Yes, that's what it's called. Good day, everybody. I read and I'll let the kettle on. See you in a bit. Well, hello folks, the sirens are out, that's a rarity these days. The helicopter has just been out as well, so there must be some idiots gathering on the beach or something today. But I don't know why, because they must be mad. It's been freezing cold today. All last night it was sleet, snow, hail, rain, the lot. And the uh, winter's here. At last, I think. Anyway, um, I hope everybody's staying safe and everybody's well and fit and all that. Um, let's hope this thing can, uh, disappears soon. But it is very uncertain times. There must be something happening. Oh, there's an ambulance there as well, so it must be an accident or something. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I hope everybody's uh, fitting well, staying safe and that. What else can I say? <laughs> I'm here at the garden, not talk about what's going on in the world. Um, I so I'm a bit later than what, what I was planning on coming over today, but like I say, it's only just stopped raining, so... Um, it's a little bit of a washout today, but I just thought I'd make a video to show you what's been happening because I have been popping up after work, like I said on the last video. Um, but now, my work road has changed. I'm working, I'm off all next week, and then the week after that, I'm in all week. And there's only four cleaners in, there's only six, six kids. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing twiddling my thumbs most of the time. Anyway, like I say, I'm not here to talk about that. This this channel is about gardening. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, I so, where's my cuppa? Where's my cuppa? Where's my washboard? So I'm going to be finishing my cuppa and I'll just quickly show you around what I've been doing. Like I say, not much. But there will, there will be a difference since the last video because the world keeps on turning. <laughs> right, finish this, I'll see you in a bit. ta -ra. Ah. Right folks, like I say, there's not much uh, planting and stuff happening today. It's turned really cold again. I'll quickly show you around what's been happening. But before I do, I was here the other day, I was talking to Martin, six foot away, like, you know, we're all keeping with distance. We're having a chat and I heard her like a bird in the, in this tree. And I was like, what the hell is that? And Martin says, can you see that? It's a, it's one of them poo bags. It's just stuck there. It's been there for years. Um, anyway, it, Martin says, oh, there it is there. I says, no, no, it's a poo bag. And then just behind it, which was, it was camouflaged by all of the, like, green buds on the tree there was a bloody parrot a huge parrot and it flew off into the cemetery so it's it must have escaped from somebody's house where it was huge you never see them on the allotment anyway so the, yesterday my mate since he's been off work has been doing his garden and there was a load of this edging because he's putting some uh, grass down so he was getting rid of all of this edging here so I spent few hours yesterday chipping off all of the cement as you can see and uh, they've come up canny so there's quite a few there I'm going to take a few over and do put some edging along my grass in the front garden in the house um, so that's canny good little score thank you Adam Harkus who's just started his own YouTube channel up go and check it out Adam 
sing the song <laughs> if you're watching anyway uh, so I, I got them I've been busy doing that what else have I been busy doing it just sorting things out really that rhubarb's coming up can you there that's that giant rhubarb that was going to be put into a show this year but it doesn't look like it will be but it's growing okay there and what I started doing uh, two days ago I've started digging my potato trenches obviously this is where my potatoes are going but with this uncertain times and when I'm not too sure yet that we're going to go into total lockdown I was thinking I'm going to try something different this year so my potato trench you know how the the farmers do it but what I usually do is dig a trench I line it with like the fertilizer and then in a couple of weeks time I would just I would plant the potatoes and then just cover it so it's ground level until the shoots start coming up but like I say with this uncertain times what I'm gonna do this year is plant the potatoes and then give them the final earthen up so it'll be like a reverse of what that is there all the way so my potatoes are going to get planted and have the final earthen up all on the same day just like the farmers do in the fields like I say we're not not too sure if we're going to be allowed to even go into the garden uh, into the allotments soon so you never know thinking ahead so like I say it's still too cold it's freezing for the even think about putting potatoes out um, so hopefully I mean it's Easter next week on the, on the second week of Easter I think or something I'll probably put the potatoes in maybe see what happens anyway um, I had a fire the other day when I was up and I managed to burn quite a bit that's all that's left uh, and all of this bit that needed digging over the, like the final part that's almost done as well so the ground's just about ready to go folks I give this uh, garlic a little feed of the grow fast fertiliser stuff see how it goes from there uh, I, I've been sorting out through the, the fire pile that's all burnable and I've, I've made a pile around here for keepable all of that stuff will be getting used again and all the other stuff will be getting burnt um, let's go into the greenhouse what's been happening in here <laughs> nothing much oh there was something when I was digging over there I forgot there was a dahlia in the ground didn't I well I didn't I did forget because I bloody tripped over it anyway I've dug it up I've put it in there see how it goes them onions are potted on the other week they're doing all right still no sign of roots roots and ting these onions are still doing all right there and the cabbages are still growing so that's good I've been having a little bit of a sort out down here but you don't need to see that it's all just a mess at the minute bags of rubbish I need to get them in, a, in when the skip comes they'll be going in there um, I've got no cucumber seeds either so it doesn't look like I'll be growing cucumbers this year so uh, I don't know tomatoes it'll get sorted out don't worry about it look, look what I've been doing I've, I've moved uh, the unnamed clay man clay pot man Look at that, he looks kind of cool there, doesn't he? Surrounded by tulips. I I moved it round because, remember this, wheelbarrow? I'm going to fill it with flowers, put it somewhere. I don't know where though. I was going to put it there, but I'm, I, I, I don't know. So it, for the minute, it's just going to go here. And it'll be all right. Isn't that right, unnamed? pot man yes it is <laughs> he hasn't even got a voice 
Ha <laughs> ha. so it's looking a lot tidier around here. A lot tidier. Oh, I've put this bit of perspex sheeting up for a reason. I'll tell you about that when I get round there. The lavender here. That's doing okay there. Look at it. Massive. Sprouting away nicely. There's a couple of daff loose daffodils down there. A pile of rubbish. Annie's daffodils are still doing all, uh, doing all right there. And so is the rose. There she is. These tulips in the flower pot. Start to come up. And these daffodils I planted when Paul I was here. And I tell you what, that it's a nightmare really. Not being able to see Paul is probably the worst thing about this. Like it's a nightmare. I hope it ends soon because uh, I don't think I can handle it anymore. Anyway, I'll spin you back round. I've been busy doing a little bit of tidying up round here as well, making it look a bit more more nice <laughs> I moved the clock up oh this clock it didn't work it suddenly started working that's weird so I have put a few things up sing like no one can hear you I do all the time mate in the garden dig for victory I put me little burner thing there in the corner with the these are the black parrot tulips in the big big kettle in the big teapot remember that they were yeah this will uh, see how how old some of these are you remember that advert in the big yellow teapot that was for lasses i didn't play with that crap i had that there uh, what was it the purple people eater <laughs> um i so i've had a bit of tidy up round here i'm gonna get some trailing flowers coming from these shelves here I put me little heart things up there that Paula bought us and I had a bit of this um, netting you know the camouflage netting so I just put it up there why not aye now that's another thing as well these sweet peas I'll show you them in a minute um, I've put this purse like the plastic up here because I need to get them up I need to get them planted out really so I thought it's they're gonna have to be planted out soon so I'm gonna put this probably on the other side actually so then the sweet peas can still climb up and then I've got another piece that will go over from there to there like a little cold frame type thing see what happens uh, is there anything else out here I can show you no, right. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you these seedlings. It's hard to open the door with when it's only got one hinge. The man you get there. Two seconds, folks. I'm in. Right, seedlings. There you go. The sweet peas. Now they they're gonna need going out soon, like. All potted up and that's another thing I've got no compost left I've got a little bit left to put some gutter peas in I sowed some tomatoes the other day some sweet million some sweet aperitif and some Shirley tomatoes six of each and some kale and them onions are doing all right there as you can see just the cabbages are up that's the mini coal in front there and them cabbies at the back and them sweet peas are starting to grow there as well. No sign of onions. No sign of these sweet peas. And there's no sign of the mint yet. So, I think it's time for another cuppa. So I'll just uh, sign off here. I'll have a cuppa. Uh, I'll sign off here and I'll have a cuppa. And uh, I might end on a song. <laughs> I'll try and get one of the lads to sing along with us, eh? I'll see you in a bit.
Right folks, just while the kettle's boiling there, I forgot to tell you about this. Now, Ray, obviously, um, is 86, he hasn't been up much, I don't think, I've never seen him for a while. But last time I did see him, he was saying that he was behind in the digging. And uh, he is, this year, he's, he's, he's hardly been able to dig much. I mean, he's done that bit over there, and half of that bit. So... With us having a week off next week, I'm going to come over and squeeze through that gap in the fence there and I'm going to start digging his garden over for him because uh, it's not fair, on, you know, it's, it's... I feel sorry for him, especially with this. He, he's got his, his taties are ready to go out and everything. But, so, like I say, I'm going to dig the garden. I'm going to dig the garden. Get rid of all the weeds. Anyway, this kettle should be boiled now. I'll see you in a bit. Right, folks. That's it for another day. Another episode and all that kind of thing. Um, I hope everybody stays safe and uh, takes care and all that. And we'll be able to get back to normal soon. Hopefully. Do some hugging and kissing. <laughs> um So, like I say, I've finished for today. There's not, the sun's come out now, and now typically, what time is it? 20 past five. I had to look twice there. Eh? The sun's in my eyes. <laughs> um, anyway, like I say, thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Stay safe, folks. I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to leave you on a little tune. Which you'll all have to learn, some of you. Anyway, I'm going to get uh, my mate, Captain Walker, to plant to sing it. Are Hello. you there, Captain? Yes, I'm here. Hello, folks. All right, man. I'm okay, fine. Right. So, without further ado, I'll leave you on a little song. Yes. I'll see you on a bit. Okay. I'll see you on a bit. Okay. It's you that. It's not me, right. man.